All right, guys. Sorry about the separating this again, but this is part three of episode one of Game Hunting. And let me tell you about the story I was about to tell you. And I did pick something else up, but I I will tell you this one because it's not as cool as this, but um. It's a figure. It's money number nine figure. And I like my figures like that. I like keeping them on the, on the entertainment center. So I did just make it in time. I even told the guy, I said, I'm not going to be in there long. I'm just looking. And he's like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, awesome. I'm sure... No, I bet you Best Buy is probably closed right now. But, um. But, back to the story, what's crazy about this, uh, shock I went to, um, when I came to Oklahoma, like, when I finally got a job, it was like a month and a half after I moved to Oklahoma from Pennsylvania, a guy job, and like the week I got higher or so, um, I went at, during the weekend, I went to go see this woman, like I was trying to say I was dating her, kind of, and um, yeah, we were dating, I guess, oh, God flashed at me because I didn't have my lights on, I'm glad, I, I would have, I probably would have got extremely trouble. You know, I saw, I saw perfectly just fine. But, um, like I said, she was a couple hours away. We would meet every week or a weekend and maybe every two weekends. But, like, I think the first time we got together, um, before we got together that first time, I went over to see her, and there was this mate. No, uh, well, I went to this finished stop before I went to see her, and then I'm not sure if I found anything that day. But what's crazy, I went to after I went to that finished stock, I went to see her, and went dated, and stayed over the night with her. And it was crazy. The it was having a crazy storm outside. I was like, I was a good hour or so away from where uh, I lived. So I was like, yeah, maybe this weather would reach all the way back home. Well, guess what? It did. And what's crazy? A freaking tornado hit that vintage stock, wiped that vintage stock out, wiped out uh, the water burger, did a lot of damage. I think there was also a uh, Applebee's. They're still currently building the damage for the Applebee's. They built that fucking water burger extremely quick after. I guess the construction went like that. Finished stock, they kind of relocated in a different spot of the strip mall until they're saying it's, it just happened. It just was crazy. All their stuff that got hit by that storm, what I was told, was sent to a flea market. No, to some. Uh, salvation, no, no, Salvation Army, some kind of store that took them all in. I should have took the guy's advice and went to check it, but I just didn't want to go there that day. No, nah, the, the whole time. So, like I said, they relocated somewhere else in the strip mall while their spot being built again. So when they was in that one new spot, honestly, they didn't have cat shit. 
I think they had to have a bunch of their other vintage stocks plied them with other stuff. And I'm going there, I'm like, Ugh. it took a while before getting anything real good in that vintage stock because they were getting a bunch of the common stuff from the other stores that you would see they would just yeah, you hardly find anything really good. So it took a while and then they rebuilt that same spot and now they've moved over and then every once in a while I'll find something really good. There was one town that I go to the vintage stock. My girl, I swear to God, I tell my girlfriend to halt every single freaking time. Um, that she cursed it. She literally cursed this vintage stock. It's a little further away. So it's not always I hit it. It might have some stuff that I just don't see. It's just a lot of times I show up and it's the same shit over and over and over. I probably go check it every few weeks. When I go out to the do the game shopping these long stretches and yeah she one day she just said I'm gonna just stay in the car because you never find anything at this vintage stock and for ever it I barely ever ever find anything because I swear to God that she cursed it. Now as I go in there, it's, it's like, it looks like the same shit. Well, it's crazy. They actually have, I think for two years now, they have a game called Bubble uh, Bobble Part 2. Extremely rare game. But the label's damaged. And, at the time, it was well over $100 more what they priced for over retail. Now it's getting hedged up that way, but uh, I was told from one of the people at these vintage stocks, if it, there's damage, you can ask for a discount. Well, I was trying to ask for it, if they would do a discount on that. I'm like, I'm like, no, we're not going off on that. Like, dude, that's more than retail. And yeah, it was like, Fifty dollars more than retail at at this time, still. But I'm like, you're still fifty dollars over retail, and it's just wild. It was just fifty dollars over retail, and you're trying to sell it with the label damaged. People like me, look, I would pick it up on, I think they priced at like three seventy five. I think it goes for three twenty five right now with loops. I would say easily it would probably go for five if they have the box. But I'm like, to me, I... I hate how bad the label is. Oh, honestly, I'd probably go... The highest I would go is 150. Because how rare that game is. How expensive that game. At least I'm asking for half the price off. So that's what I'm... But that's pretty much what I'm thinking. What I would, my top dollar. I'm um, hopefully you guys enjoying these random rants, but uh, maybe I'll have a buddy with me. We'll do this. Uh, I'm not sure if my girlfriend would like to do a sh stream or a show like this with me. She really doesn't like to be on camera at all. 
So, um, I mean, Justin J Man, he, um, uh, from KC, I mean, he said she could even hang out with what with the derail crew. How well, she, how funny she is. Maybe, hopefully, she'll join me doing this. Because I think we can have at least some kind of interesting take of game hunt tri uh, trips. I might try to learn how to shorten these down, put them all in one deal. Uh, Target looks like they might be open still, but honestly, Target. Try hit target. I mean, it looks like they're still open. It looks like it. I don't know. I mean, am I in the mood? I mean, there's, they are still open. And fuck it. I'm going to Walmart. If their Walmart's closed, I'm just going back home. But yeah, I'm going to try having my buddy Scott join me doing these shows. Maybe I can turn that off. But, um... Like I said, I'll try to get the girlfriend to do this. I think it'd be kind of cool. But I'm probably unlikely she would do it. 